I have 24 hours to build a viral app, post it on the app store, and go viral. If you guys don't understand how insane this is, a couple years ago, I had a... Let me tell you why this is gonna be a challenge. Two years ago, it took six months for a design team to finish designing an app to then send over to a development team to make three months of work, a year of marketing and distribution to get an app to potentially go viral. And I'm trying to do that all in 24 hours. And I think I could do it. I have four steps I have to complete. One, I have to ideate on something that hasn't been done or seen by the market before. Two, I have to then build this app out and submit it to the app store. Three, I have to get it reviewed by the app store and published within 24 hours. This is gonna be the hardest part. No one has success on first try. And four, I have to figure out a viral strategy plan so that this app will go viral because I didn't tell you guys this, but I'm in San Francisco right now and I have zero dollars in my bank account. If this app does not succeed, I'm going to have to fly back home and get a regular job. So why am I so confident that I can do this in the next 24 hours? Yes, I have my plan. That plan can take years for a normal production team to do. The reason I could do this is because of Vibe Coding. If you haven't heard of Vibe Coding, it came out because of all these no-code AI tools like Cursor, Replit, and now there's an app even called Vibe Code. Anyone from any background, any skill level, even a child, can and just say I want an app that does this and it will build the app for you it's kind of magic in your hands you can literally do this now we'll see what we can make let's go to the studio all right I got the idea have you ever heard of Cal AI they went viral they're making eight million dollars a year right now printing a food scanner app that tells you your macros and calorie count for the day brilliant idea another app called Oasis that you scan water bottles and tells you the toxicity of your water and recently I've noticed a trend with heavy metal my cousin actually came back with a lab report talking about how his heavy metals are high because of all the processed junk he's eaten his whole life so I looked it up myself there's arsenic the same metal that's in battery can be found in your vegetable I'm gonna use GPT to generate some images mock-ups so that I can show you guys what my idea is I just generated all the images and now I'll show you guys how it worked imagine this you really want to eat beef jerky so then you go to the store and you get your favorite beef jerky but then you look at the back of the package and you see that there's a lot of items there that you have no idea beyond that you wonder how was this jerky made well let me show you the app opens up with a camera screen you would take a picture of your beef jerky package once you scan your image we are then able to send it to the servers where it could look for all the contamination. So I was thinking for that part while it's scanning it showed a little progress bar. It's gonna take a couple seconds for this to finish. When you finally get the toxic metal report it just says the four, the total amount, and if it's safe or not. And that's the app. That's the whole app. All right, now that we have the idea, it's time for us to go out in the world again because I want to build this app while being outside. Let's go go outside. Now that we have the app idea, I'm honestly trying to figure out the fastest way to do this. What I'm going to first do is generate a super simple prompt. People get carried away with vibe coding because they think you have to do a lot of stuff. Make it easy for yourself, man. All right, so got my prompt here. I'm going to hit start now. And that's it. That's all the work I have to do. I can now just sit around and... So I haven't really talked much about myself yet and I think this would be a good time while we wait for the app to load. My name is Raz or Rasha and I've been building apps for the last five years. At professional companies, my companies that I was working for kept failing. I decided I'm going to do my own thing. Everybody's telling me how my story's supposed to go. Nah, I'm going to do my own thing. I made Talk to Lotus, an AI companion for mental health. I made Journal Scanner, a journal that you can scan, World Wisdom, a place where you can compare all the religions and figure out a final truth. But something that I've always struggled with is making money or success with these apps. A couple weeks ago, someone went viral on Twitter because they wanted a bank app with three numbers. So I decided I'm going to build that app and post it as soon as possible. And it turns out I got a ton of signups for that app because of that. Unfortunately, building a banking app is not as easy as you think. Regulation after regulation after regulation. It really made it difficult for me to want to keep going. But we're here now, and this is my final challenge. I straight up do not have a runway anymore. I don't have any money left in my bank account. And I really just wanted to see if I can do something different here, building this YouTube video to promote this app. All right, the update is available. Let's try it now. Yo, it even did the onboarding. Wow. Oh, this is dope. Okay, let's start scanning. Whoa, okay. This is crit. You can see the camera over there. All right, let me try to, let me get the Celsius. I know this stuff has lead in it. Oh, 
It crashed. What? All of a sudden, I felt a big shiver down my spine. This was the first real hurdle, and it made me remember what I said at the start. Building an app is not easy, and I need to take this more seriously if I want to get it done by tonight. I have to submit my app before 10 p.m., or else Apple's review team won't get to it. Yeah, the app isn't working. Just send another prompt, though. Now we wait again. Okay, it updated. Let's try it again. Looks good so far. Let's see. Celsius, how are you doing? Okay, it's analyzing. Yo, this is exciting. Okay, it's a Celsius. Yes, you got it. Whoa. Let's see here. Please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please, 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 please. What do you have? What do you have? It's taking a while here. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes, it worked. What? This looks so sick. Oh, wait. It's safe. The Celsius is safe? Oh, sweet. I thought this was going to have like a ton of lead in it or something. Whoa. Oh, that's awesome. Sparkling function energy drink, lead exposure, common in food processing equipment. That's incredible. What does this do? This analysis is based on image recognition. It is not a substitute for laboratory testing refresh facts. Yes. Save my ass. Save my ass, Lee. I'm pretty happy with this. I think this is something we can keep testing a little bit. This is really awesome. I'm stoked, man. What the heck? There's actually someone right next to me that has a bottled water, and I'm curious how that bottled water is going to say. Hey, man, could I, uh, could I scan your water bottle? I, I just made this app that like sees like toxic metals in it and I wanted to see if uh, oh. Evian yeah yeah like yeah, let sure. me let me try it out see if this is worse or better than Celsius all right let's see if Evian is good or bad Evian natural spring water it sounds so fancy it sounds like it's gonna be the best report ever come on but oh hey it looks pretty good too Ooh, it is higher than the Celsius Found in drinking water. Wow. Found in groundwater. Found in fish and selfish. Wow, I didn't think about these different things that could be contaminating just the water source. Um, sir, your water is safe. Hey, nice. Yeah, here you go. Thank you. Now that we know that the app is working, we gotta move quick. We have to build our app store description, the screenshots, and then just get this submitted. Got some time left. I'm gonna enjoy this park a bit more, and we're ready to go, baby. It is 1 a.m. <laughs> We're out here. I've been building apps for four months now. And the two times the app worked too. Between 10 a.m. and 12 1 a.m. and 5 minutes and 7 a.m. Oh, I can get it on. They haven't reviewed that. Oh, I think, yeah. Good morning. Four hours left in my challenge. Unfortunately, Apple still has not reviewed. I have no idea what's happening. I don't know what to expect because Apple has never played nice when it comes to App Store reviews, but I thought maybe I had everything correct and it would have been gone. It is currently 8.30. We have three and a half hours left. <laughs> oh, I hate Apple. No way. It is nine o'clock right now. I have three hours left. Apple finally reviewed the app and they projected oh, it. The 6.7 inch iPhone screenshots do not show the actual app in use in the majority of the screenshots. Really? Man, that is frustrating. I'm gonna quickly update these screenshots. We have to submit again, so I'm gonna go do that now. I have updated all of my screenshots so that they are accurate towards the product. Let's submit for app review. I am very nervous but it's okay we still got to figure out a viral strategy let's go do that now all right going viral isn't that hard actually people think that it's a luck connections but it's a science and i'm going to show you that right now a month ago i wanted to test if i could go viral on instagram so i saw this meme format where you put four images and a question. And the reason this format works so well is because it questions identity and makes people really honestly triggered. I was working on a religion app in the past. I wanted to build a meme page for it where you ask questions about religion and see four different religious answers. It blew up and I, I don't, <laughs> it sucks because there are thousands of comments now of people just fighting each other. I created religious war on the internet, but I also created over 500,000 views in less than a week of time. So how did I do that? I just copied the format and I just did it again, again, and again. And I think that's the strategy here is that I have to figure out what's something that I could do again and again and repeat success and bring new faces in. Here is my idea. 
As you can see here, if you eat these, you have lead in your body. And then it shows dried fruit, leafy greens, dark chocolate, and rice products. And then I have another one that's a little bit more controversial. Which of these lead-filled products is the healthiest? Leafy greens, rice products, American Spirit, and Camel Crush. The idea here is to get people to be like, whoa, what are you talking about? Cigarettes are healthy? And you just want to break people's brains because that's when they respond, that's when they react, that's when your engagement will go up, your numbers will go up, it'll be shown to more people. I think I'm going to start with this approach and also making a YouTube video like this. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know because I want to make more videos like this. It would be really cool and I could show more builds I do, more crazy challenges. So let me know in the comments what you want me to build next and where you want me to go and I'll try to do both of those things. Please subscribe, please like, please comment, please share. If there is a link to the app down below, hell yes. That means we got approved. If there is not... <laughs> okay, so there's two and a half hours left. I don't think it helps for me to just sit around and wait for the review. So I'm going to go outside and enjoy San Francisco for this last day before I have to go and leave it. All right. See you guys. Guess what time it is. It is 11.54 and it's still saying waiting for review. Damn it. So I was not able to complete the final challenge. Hey, I appreciate you for watching. I know I didn't beat the challenge and I know I have to go back home now, which sucks. But if you guys want to help me get back to the city so I can keep building and keep posting these cool videos, share this with your friends, join our WAP. I'm going to be posting some more content and helping you guys build your own apps. That's it. I'll see you next time. Peace. All right, I'm back home now. You know, in retrospect, that was an awesome challenge. Ideate it, build an app, and get it into the submission process within 12 hours. That's pretty awesome. All that ends well means well, and the ending to this is that it is now in the App Store. The Metals AI app is now in the App Store for you to try out. Please give this feedback right in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.